Protect from sunlight. Also protect from reveal. Welcome to my beautiful yard. And yard and those of you that know me personally, hi, welcome. I probably don't speak English to you most of the time. Um, those of you that have been following me, be it for any amount of time, any amount of years, potentially up to, let's see, 2006 to for 16 years on YouTube, congrats. A baby, someone that started following me when they were two years old on YouTube in 2006, if that was the case, um, they would be 18 years old by now. So I welcome you. Do we have any Finua babies out there? Anyway, maybe you've seen my arms. Maybe you've seen my bare skin. I don't show it off that much, especially back in the olden days when I was terribly self-conscious about my body and just tried to cover cover every inch of my, my body up so that you can see how not muscular I was. Um, you believe this traffic out here? It's a Sunday, you should be home sleeping. They're harvesting, it's harvest season. Um, anyway, I don't have tattoos. I didn't have a tattoo until two nights ago. I got my first tattoo two days ago. It's now Sunday and is, I got my tattoo on Friday. Um, those of you that have been following me for a while have probably seen um, this very specific image that I have on numerous items of clothing, on hats, on shirts, on, uh, you know, PC backgrounds, um, like back in 2010 when I recorded cover videos and you saw my, my, uh, my computer screen and it was there as well on, uh, as a background image uh i have that wall flag i used to have it hanging on my on the wall of my apartment um in a room where i shot my videos and now behind the drums it is the uh, neurosis wolf image right and um so i've been a huge fan of neurosis for quite a while as a lot of you know um i got into the band in 2006 uh, I thought they were cool, uh, and I really just fell for the band in 2008. That's when it clicked for me, circumstantially, the time was right, you know. And uh, and it didn't take long before I saw the iconic um, Times of Grace album cover with the wolf that breathes fire into the fire, closing in from the opposite direction with the gorgeous woodcut um, medieval style, just frantic stare. And I saw that image and I fell in love with it. Um, I've always had a special um, a gut reaction to to that sort of woodcut style um, of imagery, images, literal images, um, as well as you know medieval depictions of stuff. Um, goes back to you know when my brain was first getting its first wires crisscrossed. Uh, me listening to some cool music, being six years old, reading dad's some fucking occult book with some old like drawings of werewolves and just all those wires crossing at the same time um it was it was you know so that's how i'm wired so in 2008 i decided if and when i ever get a tattoo it's gonna be that wolf flash forward 14 years later it's now 2022 2022 um the time was right it's finally here the wolf hello wolf since it's on my right arm, it's a mirror image. Um, it's actually, if you buy the CD or whatever, it's facing that way, but it's my right arm, so this is, and it's gorgeous work. Now, how amazing is it that the literal day after 14 years of planning to get this tattoo done, just waiting for the moment, literally the next day after I get this tattoo, Scott Kelly, um, I guess you can't call him a front man of the band because it doesn't really have one front man, but, but one of the spearheads of the band, one of the, the most prominent six members of the band. The next day after I take this tattoo, he comes out on social media saying he's a piece of shit and he's abusive and he's blah, blah, blah. And he's retiring from music forever because he's, uh, he's been doing some shitty shit to his family, to his wife to his stuff. And now he's like, okay. Um, my, my family have now tried to, 
they're, they're trying to get it, get away from me. So what I'll do now, me, Scott Kelly, is I'm going to leave all my music stuff and just commit to pursue them and follow them forever, full time, forever. It's like, it was a lengthy rant of just like, this is all the shit that I've been doing. My wife's great. Anyway, my wife's awesome and she doesn't deserve any of the shit that I do. Anyway, I'm terrible. Here's paragraph after paragraph of all this fucking abuse that I've committed towards her and our young children and my family in general. Anyway, um, I'm quitting music now to fucking harass my family further forever. <laughs> I'll allow them to heal now and I'll be 100% focused on them now. Dude, it sounds like you've been focusing a little too hard on the family in general when it comes to a manipulative person. That post was fine. I mean, sure, coming out um, coming out as a narcissist or, or a mentally unstable, abusive person, fine, whatever, but don't expect applause and don't expect the victims of your abuse to have to stick around for your fucking healing arc or for your hero's journey or whatever. And, and it's that very, very, I mean, some of you have probably seen his posts already. And because I've gotten a lot of messages from people who don't know neurosis, who don't give a shit. They just, people I know personally who saw I got the tattoo and now I'm getting a bunch of messages about, you know, oh man, shitty timing, check this out. And I'm like, yeah, I saw this. I saw this the fucking literal day. I saw this within the hour when he posted it on Instagram or sorry, Facebook, because I follow him so intensely. But yeah, the, the whole the whole paragraph, you can look it up. It's pretty gross. You know, it's pretty triggering for those of, of those people who've gone through stuff like that. And uh, as I said, the rest of the post is, you know, I'm able to dismiss as just like, okay, dude, no, damage control-ish. It doesn't really matter, you know, you do you, but but don't abuse anyone ever anymore. Um, the post is fine, and it is only in the last section where he says that he's retiring from music and he'll be 100% focused on creating a safe space for his family to heal in and rework the, the, the relationships. And it's a no, you should, you should retire from your family 100% from music as well if you want to. It doesn't really matter. You've done great music with a bunch of other dudes, but you, you can do whatever you want to in the future. Um, but... It's such a fucked up thing to say that I've held, you know, I've held my family prisoner for years and now I'm giving up the only thing that gave them free time for me to fucking keep them prisoner even more intensely forever. It's like, dude, that you're beyond help. And who knows where this will lead him? Who knows where this will lead his family? That's not my, none of my concern. Uh, I mean, it's in the concern in the sense that I wish nothing bad ever happens to anyone in the world, but you know, especially abuse victims, they should be able to get away from the abuser. Anyway, I get a tattoo. The next day, news breaks. Band associated, guy associated with the tattoo is a piece of shit. Whoops. Do I regret the tattoo? No. Um... Still, this image is gorgeous to me. It has such profound beauty to me. It's, if I recall correctly, it's not Scott's design. It's, I think it's Steve Von Till. He, he conjured up the, uh, the image from some old fucking book with like, and then just played around with it and gave it to some other dude who made a carving of it and then um, printed the, uh, the linoleum carving, I think it was, on, as the album cover. So it's not like, it's not Scott's handiwork at all. So I thank you all for listening, and thanks to everyone who sent me the messages saying, wow, you fucked up. Uh, <laughs> I wait 14 years for a tattoo, and the literal second I take it, within 12 hours, turns out, whoops, what are you going to do? Anyway, there's often talk about separating the art from the artist, but I like to think... Um, people and life in general is more complicated than that as well. I, after years of extensive psychotherapy myself and making 
just being an expert on myself and why I work in a certain way, what makes me think a certain way in every circumstance. I dissect every fiber of my cell, of my nerve, of my being, of my emotion every second to be able to, to, to lead an as successful life as possible with as little harm done as possible to everyone else around me. I've actually turned it around to be helpful to other people uh, and I make a career out of it. Um, I don't just think in black and white terms such as, yeah, I can just separate the art from the artist, you know? That sentence can be thought of as uh, the opposite of black and white, but I do think it's very naive still. What I would rather do is I would separate the artist from their deficiencies, you know, their mental defects, so to speak. For example, someone with a narcissistic personality disorder um, aren't responsible of having that disorder. Um, they're not victims. They're, they're not helpless victims in the sense of the people that they subject themselves onto. Um, but they are helpless in the fact of how their brains are wired. <clears throat> and as such, um, I'm totally fine with listening to Neurosis of the Future. I am totally fine with having this gorgeous tattoo. Um, yeah. Ooh. I also hear my cat meowing now, so I gotta go inside. Anyway, um, I'm super happy. This tattoo is so nice. I got it at Sacred Tattoo in Espoleta Pavada. Go check them out. Now I gotta go reap what I have sown. I have sown none of this. Hey, fuck, I can make a vlog about some farm ass living, which I don't partake in other than just living here. Anyway, goodbye.